Um, in uh, Romans 10.9 um, it says, If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Now, a lot of people say the words, Jesus is Lord. However, you have to ask yourself, do I really believe he was raised from the dead? Because unless you fulfill this aspect of the scripture, you won't be saved. God has given us a guideline of what we need to do in order to be saved. We need to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord with our mouths, and we must believe in our heart that God raised him from the dead, and then we will be saved. Now, the best way I can relate this to you is my own testimony of how I believed that Jesus Christ was raised from the dead. Um, I used to say I was a Christian, but I, I really didn't know what I was talking about. I'd, I'd read um, a lot of Bible, but I, I still didn't know what I was talking about. Um, someone God sent um, to take me to an Alpha course, and uh, I went to this Alpha course. And amazing things happened there. Now, no one ran out with a guitar and said, Tarang, you know, Jesus loves you, give us 10% of your money. Uh, no one ridiculed me, no one um, said anything to offend me. In fact, even if I said something um, which was partially out of order, they just seemed to forgive me for it, which I found really strange. Um, now, during this, uh, uh, this Alpha course, I, I started to think about, you know, uh, what it was that they were talking about, you know, about Jesus Christ really being real, um, and they showed us, um, you know, proper evidence of that being so. You know, that um, it's written in the Roman Chronicles, the troublemaker by the name of Jesus in, in Nazareth. So I thought to myself, oh wow, there's evidence outside the Bible. Um, you know, that so so he was real. So I believed that he was real, um, and then I got onto the other the other aspects, you know, such as. Um, many aspects but the main ones were forgiveness I thought well you know um, how can I forgive these people that have done all these things to me in my life you know I, I don't I don't want to forgive them um, and then I thought about Jesus on the cross and how much pain he must have been in how agonizing it must have been to have been hung up there by his bones and flesh with uh, with, with, with nails piercing him besides the beating he got before and yet, at that time, he was saying, Father, forgive them, they don't know what they're doing. Um, and I thought, well, you know what, he can forgive while they're killing him. Surely I can forgive whatever's happened years ago. Um, I was quite angry, actually, when I thought about that, because my excuse for not forgiving had gone. But I forgave, and I felt much better for having forgiven. I, didn't, I wasn't carrying around this anger with me all the time. Next I got to the stage of, uh, you know, do I really believe in the resurrection? And I thought, well, I, not really. I, I didn't really believe in it. I thought, well, uh, I can't convince myself that, that that's real. So I thought about this, and I thought about an incident, uh, um, a long-term incident which happened to me um, with officials. And I, I ended up going uh, to see these officials non-stop over four years, you know, um, every single week um, I was seeing these officials. Um, it drove me to the, to, to the point of madness. I, I had a nervous breakdown and the uh, most terrible depression. Um, and all I heard from these people were lies. Every single one of them, regardless of which office they were in, just told lies. Lies, lies and more lies. And I thought, hold on a minute. Jesus was accused by officials. Jesus was denied by officials. Jesus' stories have been covered up by officials. Uh, these are the same people that um, say that he wasn't um, resurrected from the dead. They say he wasn't God. And they say that he was, was not resurrected from the dead. And I thought, well, you know what? I've had four years of these people, non-stop. And all they've done is lie. And... They're the same people, officials. And I thought, well, do you know what? If officials um, can tell this many lies, um, where does that leave the people of any country where they can't trust officials? 
And I thought, well, if they say that Jesus Christ was not resurrected, well, that just has to be just one more lie. He must have been, because they say he wasn't. And that is what it took for me to believe that Jesus Christ was actually resurrected from, from the dead. It's hard to believe that someone is resurrected from the dead. But if you relate this correctly to um, aspects in your own life, relate Jesus' life to aspects in, in your own life, um, you will find the answers because Jesus has said, if you seek, you will find. It's a case of um, looking for reasons as to why what he said is true, rather than looking for reasons to doubt him. He's God. He can't be doubted. There's nothing to doubt. He made everything. And he can raise the dead. And I believe that. And please remember this scripture. Because it's very important. Romans 10.9 If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord. And believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead. You will be saved. Not you might. Not you won't. You will and Jesus said, seek and you will find. And for those of you who, who don't believe that he was raised from the dead or have doubts, please just do what Jesus said. Seek and you will find. Look for a reason to believe rather than a reason not to believe. Because Jesus Christ is Lord.